Hello and welcome to Farrell's Notebook. Today I am going to show you pretty much in real time exactly what it looks like for me to use my art journal to help my mental health. And those of you who have been around for a while know that I love to do this, that my art journal is my thing, but I have to tell you, sometimes I forget and that is exactly what happened to me this day. I had some really big out of control emotions that I wasn't used to, that I hadn't felt in a while. And I was pretty much gearing up to just be in a funk all day. And mental health, of course, it doesn't mean that you feel 100% happy all the time. And so turning off that emotion or immediately trying to change it would not have been helpful for me. And so I for sure have a lot of things that can help me to numb in the moment, whether it be like a really good TV show or even getting lost in a book. But what happens when I numb is that as soon as I'm done, all the feelings come slamming back, often worse and even scarier feeling than they were before. But with my art journal, I can sit down and I am not actively thinking about everything. It does turn my brain off in a way, but in, at the same time, it always takes me through a process where on the other side, I have really thought through like why I'm feeling the way I'm feeling and I feel like I'm in a different place. So I haven't just frozen the feeling by numbing for a little while. I haven't changed the feeling as fast as I can but I have done a, something that helps me to cope, but that also brings me somewhere different on the other side. And so this process for me is always really, really healthy. But again, completely forgot about it. I was having that hard day and all of a sudden I was like, wait a minute, Farrell, you're not stuck here. You have something that you can do that will help you process this. And I sat down with this art journal page. So I already had a lot of paint down on this page as you can see, but even paint felt like it would take too long to set up, it would be too much of a thing. I really wanted to sit down and make some intuitive art while I processed. And so I pulled out my oil pastels, which are on the right, my um, pastels, which are up in the left-hand corner. I didn't end up using those. But there's also something about coloring and just pressing down really hard on the page that is so satisfying and so helpful. And I absolutely loved this because I made the decision beforehand that this was not about the finished product. This was about the process. And I have to tell you, there is nothing more fun than just grabbing whatever color you want and scribbling it on the page. <laughs> that is like a pretty awesome process for me. You also saw that I used my pen at one point to get some words down on the page. That always really, really helps me too. I can write down whatever I want knowing that the layers of the art will cover it up. And so I am just grabbing colors here that are calling to me and trying really hard not to be distracted by if I think it's beautiful or ugly but more just picturing this as my tool that is available to me in this moment that I can use however I want. And I wanted to use it for scribbling, um, for processing. And I'm also really glad that I decided to turn on the camera because that means that I can show you exactly what this art journal does for me. And in my case, doing this on a canvas would not have been the same. There's something about the idea of displaying something at the end that can freak me out. So this is like, who cares what this page turns out like? I can just turn the page, make it on the next page next time. I could cover this over again like I did here. So this was really, there's low stakes. I was so safe. Nothing bad would happen no matter what I did on this page. There was also no right or wrong. There's no morally correct way for me to color this art journal page. 
I could just do whatever I wanted. And so this is really my free space where I can get out of the box that I feel stuck in and go through a process. If you are inspired to start an art journal, I encourage you to do it. I hope this shows you that it can be as simple as you want it to be. Get some oil pastels if this looks fun and scribble on a page and then turn the page and do it again the next day. This page took me 15 minutes from start to finish and that 15 minutes really reset my day for me. And I was so proud that I had used this coping skill that I had developed. And of course, if it's your first time art journaling, it's not going to be perfect, right? It might be really difficult, really frustrating. You might be the whole time like, wow, this is ugly. I hate it. That's okay. Keep going. The more art journal pages you make, the more you'll be able to practice letting go of that perfection and realizing it's true that you are actually safe here. So the next thing I'm going to do, I dumped some gesso on the page and then I was like, oh my gosh, what did I just do? And it led to these really satisfying and intuitive brush strokes all over the page. I didn't understand this big red thing that I had made and after trying to understand it, I decided I was just going to put some of this white on it and I loved the way that these brush strokes looked. So I started just spreading the paint all over the page and trying to leave some of the little moments that were my favorite. I loved the area where there was red and blue next to each other. I liked where the words were peeking out, like you couldn't read what they said, but you could see that there was some writing in there. Um, I had really liked the, the bottom like third of this. And so I really trying so hard not to be caught up in the finished product. I just used my brush to cover the page with these little marks and it was so much fun. This was a really nice process for me. This art journal page was like the dream in terms of what my art journal is here for and it was also really freeing because I make a lot of tutorials and so as I make I'm thinking through all the steps and I am thinking about the finished product and for this one I knew that it didn't matter what it looks like in the end that this was my tool that I was going to use to help me with my mental health in the moment and it really did. I would love to hear what some of your tools are on a day like this that that can help you or what your safe place is, like my art journal. Like maybe you have a journal you write in or um, sometimes shows can be helpful. Like if you have a show that makes you laugh, that you know all the characters, that can be amazing. Um, a friend that you can talk to who always helps. I always love hearing what works for other people, but here's one of the things that works for me. So I hope you enjoyed watching this process and I hope you're inspired. Um, my biggest hope from these is always that you will go make some art. This is your reminder that there are over 40 tutorials waiting for you at ko-fi.com slash take heart. With a monthly subscription, you can access every tutorial plus two new tutorials every month. They're all beginner friendly with a theme that you can apply to your life. Check it out.